You know what I was watching you on, and I had such mixed emotions. You did that show uh, between two ferns with Zach Galifianakis, right? Uh, and you know, uh, it's a funny show. Yeah. In that you're sitting there, and you're a good sport because to me, I liken it to a roast. Yeah. The guy sits you down, and he says every insulting thing he can think of <laughs> saying to Paul Rudd. <laughs> and obviously, he probably had a lot more than he did. Not everything. He uh, had but, more. but but don't you get? I you know I could not do that show because oh. I would get offended. Oh no, he. That's another guy, Zach Galifianakis. Yes. That is one of the funniest people I've ever met and have ever seen. Like his whole style. I mean, when he was doing, I mean, before Hangover, when he was just doing stand up, kind of starting off, he was one of my favorite comedians. I just think he's so funny. And well, he turns to you in the show and he says, uh, you know, Paul, um, couldn't you help other Jewish actors hide their Jewishness? <laughs> uh, but I've never really tried to hide my Jewishness. I've really never tried to hide my Jewishness. I said, that is the greatest, funniest line ever. Yeah. But then all of a sudden I was like, I didn't know Paul was Jewish. <laughs> He's and, been hiding and it. And, you know, he has been hiding his Jewishness. I did I, I not realize that. Where'd you grow up again? I grew up in I, Kansas. I was born in here. I was born here. I right, lived in New, New Jersey. Yeah. I then lived in California. I moved to Kansas City. They don't have any Jews in Kansas. They do. But they didn't go to my school. <laughs> <laughs> was it awful? I, being serious, like I've gone to places, you know, I, unlike you, I can't hide my Jewishness. <laughs> I was slapped a yarmulke when I was born. <laughs> but when I, but, but seriously, growing up in Kansas and there's no other Jews around, <laughs> it's got to be terribly, um, well, you got to feel somewhat alienated. I, I think, think at the least. I was, because of my dad's job and he, you know, he worked for an airline, he was in management for TWA. TWA's hub was in Kansas City, which is right. why we wound up there. But I was always a new kid in a new school from the time I was in TWA had him, uh, he was traveling. always getting job transfers and yeah. things like that. And so when I was 10, I'd already been in, I don't even know how, know how many schools. Um, I think because my parents were both British that I had moved around. I was always a new kid in school and I was Jewish, certainly in Kansas city. And I knew that that was the, I was in the minority there. I always felt a little different than I guess most of the kids. And, and what I learned early, kind of early on is that like, if I make Jewish jokes about myself, um, I noticed that all of the kids would laugh really hard. Yeah. It wasn't until I got older. I'm like, that's kind of, that's kind of messed up. <laughs> yeah. But, um, well, wait, there are a lot of like anti-Semitic comments and, uh, Hey Jew boy and all that. I shit. got that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not, not a ton um, right. I mean, I would think that the majority of people probably didn't care, didn't, right. you know, what if they even knew it wasn't anything. I was, I have never tried to hide anything, but right. I, uh, I'm also not a particularly religious person, but, um, you, you're not kidding. You celebrate Christmas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're not well, there, you yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's that's, about, by the way, that's about, don't, about as hiding don't your do, Jewishness yeah, as you can get. You can't do any better than that. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> by the way, it's the best. <laughs> Christmas is awesome. Oh man. <laughs> yes. It's my favorite part about being Jewish. <laughs>